Hey fam, I want you to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Roland S. Martin. And don't forget to turn on your notifications. Now, y'all know I created the hashtag Trump Lies Let Matter shortly after he won because his ass was lying from the get-go. Uh, more than 9,000 lies since he's been president. Washington Post, they keep a count of these false and misleading claims. We call them lies, but y'all, uh, today, his lying ass really, really, really just continued. Okay, so this was the other day at the White House, y'all. Just press play. I mean, you've really... Uh, put a big investment in our country. We appreciate it very much, Tim Apple. Uh, we appreciate it very much, Tim Apple. Now, I want y'all to play it again. I want y'all to, because I want, I'm about to read something, but y'all gonna get a kick out of this, okay? I mean, you've really uh, put a big investment in our country. We appreciate it very much, Tim Apple. Uh, now, he got mocked on cable news, but also on social media. So over the weekend, he was talking to donors and he told them, he said, Tim, cook apple real fast. <laughs> Press play. I mean, you've really uh, put a big investment in our country. We appreciate it very much, Tim Apple. Uh, now, I, I didn't quite hear cook anywhere in there. Okay. He actually said it. Um, uh... So, he tweeted today, y'all. He tweeted today. Did Y'all got the tweet? Pull the tweet up, please. At a recent roundtable meeting of business executives, and long after formally introducing Tim Cook of Apple, I quickly referred to, to Tim plus Apple as Tim Apple as an easy way to save time and words. <laughs> The fake news was disparagingly all over this, and it became yet another bad Trump story. All right, y'all, let me, let, me, let me help y'all out. Let me thank Tim Cook of Apple. Matter of fact, hold on, let me, let me put the, the timer on. I just want to see how fast this thing goes. <laughs> Start. Let me thank Tim Cook of Apple. Ooh, that took 2.4 seconds. Let me do it again. <laughs> Go to my iPad. Let me thank Tim Cook of Apple. Oh, damn. That's 1.98 seconds. Eugene, he really was trying to save 1.98 seconds of time. <laughs> this is a lying ass. It's, a it's like, dude, just go with it. But uh, no, y'all, I was trying to save some time because I didn't want to say Tim Cook Listen, and Apple, Trump, so I just went Tim Apple. Listen, your president's a liar, liar. And he ain't my president. It is a, is a full believer of dying with the lie. I you mean, a hundred percent believer in dying with the lie. My grandmother used to always say, "A congenital liar will tell a lie when the truth will do." I mean, that would always be her lie. She'd say, tell a lie when the truth will do. What's the big deal? I miss, I, you know, I misspoke. Exactly. I mean, j just move on. He, the man really is well, a well, congenital well, when you're somebody liar. He is afraid to be, wrong, to be made fun of. Yeah. Or, 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 or. I don't know why. He's the funniest thing we've ever seen in the White House. <laughs> I mean, this, this, you got a guy, this is the same guy that, that, that signs Bibles, right? So when you have well, that kind of... Sign, he signs oh, Bibles. Signs Bible, signs Down in Bible. Alabama. <laughs> he signs Bibles. But, 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 Michael, here's the deal, though. Dog, this is real simple. You roll with it. Look, Obama ma made flubs. Uh, Bill Clinton did. Bush one, Bush two, Reagan. Every president has made a mistake. It, it's like, oh, how dare they make fun of me? So, therefore, okay, I got I to gotta, I gotta lie about it. And, yeah, I was trying to, um, you know, hurry up and, you know, skip a word so I ain't want to say Tim Cook of Apple. I just went Tim Apple. Not with the lie. Num I don't get uh, On this one, number 40, 40 I call him 45, oh, by the yeah. way. 45 on this one. This was easy. This didn't even have to require all of this and the, you talking about him and Saturday Night Live talking about him and, and being on the news. He did this himself with the tweet. All he had to do was say, my bad. Like you said, Doc. Oh, I made a mistake. He but, but, made a mistake. But what you're dealing with he here... He even said, I meant to call him Tim Apple. But here's the deal, though. <laughs> this is the guy, this is the guy who cannot admit mistakes and who lies. And I, I fundamentally believe that whoever wins the Democratic nomination, this is how 
they must operate during a Democratic, during the presidential debate. Is this your, <laughs> watch this. Trump is talking. That's a lie. <laughs> he lying again. <laughs> That's four lies he just told. No, while he's talking, while Trump is rambling, whoever's the nominee should say, lying again, still lying, hasn't stopped lying. They should straight interrupt him. And remember he was walking around the whole debate deal and he was like all behind Hillary? If I'm walking, I'll be sitting there going, that was another lie you just told. I'm telling you, you got to sit here. Now, Bernie Sanders had a great line when he was asked. He said, I'm going to bring a lie detector test to a debate with Donald Trump. <laughs> you got to call. <laughs> See, as long as Democrats try to play this thing nice and sit here and, you know, do the little dance. No, you got to say, yo, he's lying. Yeah. What he is saying to you right now to the American people, he is lying to you and he thinks you will fall for it. Because here's what it's going to do. It's going to force the moderator mm. and the networks to have to fact check. Yep. And so when the debate is over, they're going to be like, uh, during the debate, so-and-so's call him a lie. Well, guess he what? Lied. We went there to check, and he was lying. He wasn't, No, they're, they're going to say he wasn't telling he the misspoke. truth. Or he misspoke. That's what they're going to call it. Mm. That's how you deal with a liar. Yeah. yeah. I, I agree 100%. Um, you know, the thing is going to be, you, you, you know, I, I love our forever floaters, and, you know, there some situations, you know, they go low, you go high. When it comes to Trump, the only way you better beat him in 2020, when he goes low, you got to take him to the ground. All that go high, no, no, you got to punch. To the ground. Yo, yo, you got to punch a bully in the face. Exactly. All right, folks, back to our my unfiltered video in just one moment. So a lot of folks out there, of course, trying to get healthy and well in 2019, and for a variety of reasons, uh, whether you want to uh, lose uh, weight, whether you want to simply look better, whether you want to uh, get all ready for beach season and have your bikini, one piece or two piece, uh, we, of course, get ourselves uh, together for a variety of we reasons. So one of the places you, of course, uh, can check out uh, folks at uh, D-Herbs. That's right, uh, the Full Body Cleanse. They have 27 different cleanses that you can actually take advantage of. And the whole point of this, of course, is removing excessive eating, uh, excessive food, processed foods, and fried foods out of our body in terms, of, again, getting us healthy and well and giving us more energy. And so if you want to try the, uh, the uh, D-Herbs Full Body Cleanse, all you got to do is go to dherbs.com. That's dherbs.com. Or and use the promo code Roland for a discount when you go check out. Now, you can also call 1 866 4 dherbs. 1 866 4 dherbs. Again, the same promo code is Roland. Check out their full body cleanse. I've done it three different times, enjoyed it all three times. Uh, and so it also changes your perspective in terms of what you eat, how you eat, and also what you drink. And so, again, dherbs.com. Or call one eight six six four D Herbs, and we thank uh, D Herbs, a black-owned company, for being a partner here with Roland Martin Unfiltered. Now back to your Roland Martin Unfiltered video.